And it kills your wellness. It kills your sanity. It kills your productivity. It kills your, your profitability because you're wasting time. I'm getting a, a dollar bill for a bottle of water and getting interrupted when I'm trying to get laser beam focus in my freak flow on a $100,000 marketing campaign. It will for productivity. It'll profitability. And people don't enforce it and don't respect it because they're people pleasers. They don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to whatever else piss people off or people to get offended or you want people to like you. So you want to be Mr. Nice Guy, Mr. People Pleaser, and you want to be approval seeking and it turns you into passive aggressive. Then you build resentment. You're wasting time. Your energy is zapped. Your mind is, is all over the place. And then you wonder why you're lacking fulfillment. You're lacking money. You're not living according to your purpose and higher calling. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. Today, we're going to talk about boundaries, how to set boundaries, how to live boundaries, and how to enforce the boundaries. It's one of the topics that I literally go over in the early stages with every single coaching client, coaching group, seminar, workshop, team, company. It's always huge is the topic of boundaries. That's what we are going to dive into today in depth on the Steve Eckert Show which as you know, the Steve Eckert Show is a show on how to flip the switch to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms all while you create your own personal ideal freak freedom lifestyle. And in order to have that freedom, in order to have that personal freak freedom lifestyle, you need to, it is essential, it is critical, it is mandatory, it's a prerequisite, you need to have freaking boundaries or you'll never have that personal freedom lifestyle that you want to have. It's all about, you need to set the freaking boundaries. So let's start off with a quick story about boundaries and about distractions because really boundaries are about distraction removal. Back when I used to have gyms in, in New York, I used to have my office they're in the gym because in the beginning, I was doing all the work 24 hours a day. I was, I was doing all the one-on-one -on -one personal training clients. I was teaching all the boot camp and boxing classes. I was doing all the sales and marketing, all the social media, all the emails, all the responding to leads, all the sales consultations, all the phone calls, all the follow-up. I was cleaning the gym. I was ordering the equipment, buying the equipment, maintaining the equipment, putting machines together. I was cleaning the toilet bowls, wiping down the bathrooms, everything. So my office was there because I was there freaking 18 hours a day, seven days a week for years. But as the business started growing and scaling, started building a team, started having other trainers and coaches and assistants and salespeople and marketers and everything, building a, a team sometimes as, as in a small little, which was like 2,000, less than 2,000 square foot of actual usable boot camp floor space and then offices and stuff, a team of 13, 14, 15 people at a time. And so as you're growing and scaling, I'm not having to do a lot of those, all those things. And I could start worry, uh, focusing on scaling, growing, and maximizing the, the business, the company, the higher level things, the, the visionary type things, the higher level marketing campaigns and, and whatever. So there was this one time I was back in my office in the gym where I was, I was not only doing a couple of maybe like one or two group classes a week. I wasn't doing any more one-on-one -on -one personal training, but I was in there in the office, in the gym, and I'm working in the office and I'm working on this marketing campaign for a, a six-week weight loss challenge we had coming up. And those were our big events of the year. We did about three or four of them a year between upfront money and memberships on the back end and referrals and all this other stuff and upsells. These six-week challenges would make sometimes over $100,000 per event, more than that sometimes, in when you put everything all in together, a couple hundred thousand dollars from each six-week challenge. So they're critical to the growth of the, of, the, of the business, of the company, to paying all these team members' salaries and, and putting food on the table for their families. These six-week challenges were a critical part of it. And so I'm in there working on the, the I don't remember, working on the, either the, the funnel, the marketing campaign, the emails, whatever it is. I'm, I'm, I'm deep in the deep freak 
flow mode, writing the emails and working on this campaign. And there's a knock on the door and it's a trainer. And we didn't really ha- accept cash in there for like small little purchases because it took too much time to, to have to worry about the cash. So it was only it would go onto people's account and we'd scan their cards or whatever and it would be, be charged to their account. And someone bought a bottle of water for a dollar, a dollar bill. I got knock on the door of my office. Hey, I just sold a bottle of water. Here's a dollar. So I got interrupted. Building a campaign It's going to make us a couple hundred, hundred thousand dollars. Losing the flow. And if you know anything about distractions, they say it takes 15 to 25 minutes to get back on track every time you're distracted. So for this one dollar, a fucking dollar bill, I'm getting distracted. All right, I get back into the flow. Finally back on track. All right, where was I? Let me get back into it. Knock on the door again. Hey, my client out here thinks it's pretty hot. Can I lower the temperature in, in it? I know it's a, whatever, summertime, wintertime, whatever the hell it was. Can I change the temperature for my client? So now for the 17 extra cents per minute that it's going to cost for changing the temperature by a fucking degree or two, I'm distracted from this couple hundred thousand dollar marketing campaign that I'm working on. That was literally, I literally got up right then after I took this dollar bill Changed the fucking temperature of the gym or, or, or permitted the temperature to be changed in the gym, which it didn't need permission for something like that, which whatever. Anyway, that's a whole side story. Took my fucking dollar bill, went on the phone, called up U-Haul, rented a truck literally that day, moved all the shit in from my office, the desk, the chairs, all my files, computers and everything into a U-Haul truck and built a home office at home to never work inside the business again. Because I there, there was I needed to set new boundaries and new standards and live them and enforce them so that there would be distraction free, and that's why you need to set boundaries. There are distractions coming your way all the time, like right here in my office. There are boundaries. There's actually a sign from Amazon, and it rolls to different colors. One of them says, right now it says, "Do not disturb," because I'm recording. It's quiet on the set. I even should probably get one that says. On air, meaning we're recording like not only do not disturb, please be quiet around there also so it's not disturbing or making noise when we're recording. But then it also says in a meeting, it also says, please knock. You spin it to a different one. It's on Amazon for like 15, 20 bucks. You should go get that. It will help you. Also set the the standards, set the boundaries with your team if you have an office at work or with your family if you have an office at home about what the boundaries are. They know always, even if it says, please knock, two little light knocks. No one answers, knock again, knock, knock. No one answers, even though it says, please knock. It doesn't say, do not disturb. I'm un- I still am unavailable. Maybe I didn't switch a sign or something came up. I'm on the phone. So set those boundaries. You have to have these boundaries at home, at work, with your family, with your spouse, with your kids, with your team. You need to have distraction removal. You need to think, what boundaries will protect my time? What boundaries will protect my schedule? What boundaries will protect my agenda, my- protect my energy, protect my fucking sanity, but also protect your dreams and just your life in general. You need these boundaries. You should have boundaries on your sleep time. And when are, when are lights out in the house? When is quiet time start in the house? You should have boundaries on lights out. Ours, our rule is, which gets broken sometimes and nothing's ever perfect, is 9.30 p.m. That is lights out time. Anyone that can stay up as late as they want, including the kids, you stay up as late as you want. I don't really care. First of all, you're going to have to wake up, still get up early in the morning and and do your work, whatever you need to do and get shit done. You're not going to sleep in, but you can step as late as you want, but lights are out at 930. So you better be fucking crawling around the house like a damn ninja with a little flashlight on the lowest, dimmest setting, making no noise, not slamming the freaking doors, doing like a a Russian like marching band where you're closing doors around the house and drawers, like quiet, like you close the door, it better be like slowly and letting it ease into the, to the freaking doorway. Set the boundaries, set the rules, set the expectations for yourself, for your family, for your team, for the people around you. Boundaries is really just being able to say no and accept when someone else says no. Those are, that's all part of boundaries. Being able to clearly communicate both what you want and what you need, that is part of boundaries. But also honoring and respecting yourself, your needs, but honoring and respecting other people's, what they need and what they, their boundaries. And respecting values and beliefs and, and opinions, even if they're different from your own. This is all part of what, what boundaries are when we're talking about it. Like this is what you need to be able to think. And, and really helping other people figure out what's going to help you operate together 
in a conducive environment to your highest level. Help you define what you're comfortable with, what's going to work, what's going to be conducive to growth, to excellence, to, to profitability, to sanity, and also just how you expect to be treated and how you expect to, to have a, a certain level of freedom, a certain level of time and energy to yourself, whatever that is. They're basically just guidelines, rules, and, and limits that identify your, your ways that other people behave towards you and how you're going to respond when someone goes past those limits or doesn't respect that. That's what boundaries are. It's just like a line, a line in the sand, a dividing line that limits and protects you. That's what you need to think of it. And when it comes to boundaries, you need to set the boundary, you need to live the boundary, and you need to enforce the boundary. The problem is most people, and this goes with standards also and expectations also, think of it the same way. Standards, expectations, boundaries, all ball up in together. And, and even core values. There's a whole another episode on core values on the early one of the earlier episodes. Check, check that out. But you need to set, live, and enforce those boundaries. So you can't just enforce boundaries and someone walks in your, your office without knocking and you flip on, what are you doing? I'm busy, I'm working on this and you're just this hothead. But you never set that boundary. You also don't live that boundary and, and respect. Living the boundary means doing it yourself. You, you don't respect the other people's boundaries. You're not living it, but then you want to enforce it. That's not the way shit works. You need to first set it and clearly communicate it. Then you need to live it yourself and actually live within those parameters of whatever the fucking boundaries are so that you, you've earned the right to then enforce those boundaries with, with whoever you're talking about and, and whatever you're talking about, those standards, those expectations, those boundaries. And when it comes to, to overwhelm, usually what causes the most overwhelm with people are two things. One of the first ones is when they're unable to be themselves and have their own personal freedom. And we have a whole separate episode on your personal freak freedom, uh, freedom, and then also your, your freedom lifestyle. Two separate episodes on both of those topics, so check those out. That's one of the first things that cause overwhelm when I, when I deal with clients is when I, I've just discovered. It's about when they can't live, be themselves. They can't have self-expression. The other one is their inability to set freaking boundaries and to keep those boundaries and enforce those boundaries. That's I'm telling you, every client I've ever had, 100% of the time, every team and company I've ever go to help with their teamwork and leadership and problem solving communication, we've had to tackle the issue of boundaries. It is always, it is the number one culprit to overwhelm is lack of boundaries, inability to set boundaries, inability to live the boundaries, and, and definitely inability to enforce the boundaries. Because people are, and it kills your wellness. It kills your fucking sanity. It kills your productivity. It kills your, your profitability because you're wasting fucking time. I'm getting a, a dollar bill for a bottle of fucking water and getting interrupted when I'm trying to get laser beam focus in my freak flow on a hundred thousand dollar marketing campaign. It will fuck your productivity. It'll fuck your profitability and people don't enforce it and don't respect it because they're people pleasers. They don't want to rock the boat. They don't want people to think they're an asshole. They don't want to be the dick. And you know what it does? It fucking kills your sanity. It, it makes you not follow your own dreams, your own purpose, your own passions. It kills your freaking desire and excitement because you're, 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 it's, your freedom has been fucking taken away from you. Your personal freedom has been taken away from you. That's why those two things go together. The boundaries and that personal freedom that I said, people don't have that personal freedom. The ability to be who you want to be is, is taken from you when you lack those boundaries. They go hand in hand. That's why those are the two number one things that cause overwhelm I've noticed with clients. And that's what it's all about. And, and you, you don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to whatever else piss people off or people to get offended or you want people to like you. So you want to be Mr. Nice Guy, Mr. People Pleaser, and you want to be approval seeking and it turns you into passive aggressive. Then you build resentment. You're wasting time. Your energy is zapped. Your fucking mind is, is all over the place. And then you wonder why you're lacking fulfillment. You're lacking money. You're not living according to your purpose and higher calling because you failed to set the fucking boundaries. You failed to let the people around you know, communicate it, you also fail to let people know who you are and why these boundaries are important and, and identify where you're not setting boundaries in your life and identify where you need to set boundaries in your life. 
Identify the areas of your life that you're not doing the shit that you want to be doing because you, you, your boundaries are being broken and taken advantage of. It's time to have those conversations. It's time to set those standards. It's time to live those standards and time to enforce those motherfucking standards. That's what it's time to do. It's time to have those difficult, difficult conversations about your standards, expectations, and your boundaries. Or you're going to end up regretful later in life because you didn't live the life you were supposed to live. You're living some other life, some half-assed life, someone else's life. Because you're letting people just take over and control your energy. There's puppet strings controlling you and your life and your day because you didn't have those difficult conversations and you're just having a miserable freaking existence. You need to give yourself permission to make these straightforward, direct, explicit requests to people and to set these boundaries. And boundaries are also in your, your, your own productivity, your own calendar, boundaries with yourself in your calendar and your time blocking. Those are boundaries also. How long you're going to let a meeting go on. How long you're going to commit to one thing. And these boundaries start within yourself. They all start with you. What you allow of yourself. Your boundaries are all about your identity. That's why the personal freedom and the, and the ba- inability to set boundaries are, are go hand in hand with your overwhelm. It's all about who you are. And if you're lacking these boundaries, you're not showing up with the intentionality and the consistency you should. You need to have boundaries between that, that fake bullshit self of you that's not even you with your real self of who you want to be, need to be, and deserve to be. And then being aware of how often you're crossing those boundaries in your fake self and, and the real version of you. And or you've leveled up and you've, you've gone to this new level, but people still remember you as that old uh, lower level half-assed bullshitting excuse making version of yourself and now you're this new version of you that you didn't you failed to communicate this new version of these new boundaries you have these new expectations because you've leveled up you've done things like watch this all the episodes of this podcast or maybe you've done some you're you're in the freak father alliance the men's mentorship group coaching program and you've now leveled up but people remember you as the old you and now you've failed to, to distinguish the boundaries of yourself between that old you and the new you, this new and improved badass motherfucker version of yourself. And not, not recognizing when you're letting people take advantage of you and treat you like it's still the old you, the old, trashy, shittier version of you, not this new freak father alliance version of you. Also, the, the way that you're now thinking like a winner when you used to think like a loser, that old victor version of you as opposed to the victim mindset you used to have. That old way of that fixed mindset compared to the growth mindset you have and fi- seeing those boundaries within yourself. This all starts with you and realizing when this shit is happening within yourself, within your own personal standards, your own personal discipline, your own self-awareness with yourself. These standards that you have, standards of your attitude that you have, standards of your behavior, standards of your or, uh, boundaries in your bandwidth, how much you're going to take on your plate, what type of lifestyle do you want to live? So that you can avoid this burnout, this overwhelm we're talking about. Saying no to the bullshit. When you say yes to one thing, you're not saying no to something else. You think you're being a yes man and you're people pleasing. You're saying yes to everything. You're still saying no somewhere else in your freaking life. So when you have to have boundaries in your, in your bandwidth, are you capable of taking on more? Is it worth it to take it on more? Is it conducive to that personal freak freedom ideal lifestyle you want to live to take on more? Is it possible? Do you have the bandwidth to do it? These are the kind of boundaries you need to be thinking about. And people don't want to set these boundaries. They definitely don't want to enforce these boundaries because they want people to like them. They're a people pleaser. They want to be liked. They don't want people to take it personal. Whatever, whatever bullshit stories you tell yourself in your head. And you show up more for other people than you show up for your fucking self. You look, and then you end up burying yourself in the process and then wonder why you're lacking fulfillment. Every boundary you have is a freaking choice. It's a decision. Decision on you living your lifestyle you want to live or you living the lifestyle that the rest of the world is forcing you to live because you didn't set any freaking boundaries. So you need to right now, take notes and write down. I want you to do this right now. Even pause this video if you have to and write down, really, what, what boundaries do you need to set in your health and your fitness, in your career and your business, in your relationships, in your friendships? in your money, in your finances, in your workouts, in your free time, in your schedule, 
in your time blocks, in your work hours, in your free hours, in your family time? What boundaries do you need to set? And who do you need to set those boundaries with? Write this shit down right now. Like you need to do this shit now so you can start living this personal freak freedom lifestyle we're talking about. And then after you say, all right, what are the boundaries you need to set? Who do you need to set those boundaries with? Then I want you to write down for each of these why you need to set these boundaries. And then how you're going to set those boundaries. Because, and then what are like the, what is the boundary? Like explain the boundary, not just what is it? Like where do you need to set the boundary? Why is it important? Who do you need to set it with? How are you going to set it? How are you going to communicate it? But also what are the guidelines? What are the parameters of the boundaries? What is acceptable? What is not acceptable? Set the rule, set the standard and then live the standard and enforce the standard. Write this shit down. And then what are you going to do about it when that shit gets broken? When the boundary gets broken? And you need to write this down because when you go and explain this boundaries to your spouse or your kids or your team or your boss or whoever else, your employees, you're going to explain what the boundary is, why you're setting it and why you're setting it. The, the reason behind it. Like, why is this boundary important? What, how is this in alignment with your assignment of all the shit that you're doing, this higher calling, the bigger mission, the vision, the values, and the goals? How is this boundary conducive and in alignment with that shit? You're going to need to communicate that so people understand it. Oh, that's why. You're not just being a dick. You're not just being an ass. You're not just being abrasive or whatever else. There's a purpose behind this. What is the purpose of that boundary? Then you need to have a game plan of what are you going to do when people don't respect your freaking boundaries? How are you going to communicate the boundaries in the first place? And how are you going to enforce these boundaries? And how are you going to respond when people don't respect your boundaries? And they sometimes even blatantly go against your boundaries just because they think you're being unreasonable or whatever else. So you then need to decide, do I want this motherfucker even in my life? That's the first step. All right. If you do, all right, check. Now let's see what we can do about this. Do you want to have a better relationship with that person? All right, check. Now let's go to the next step. Maybe your boundaries are are not in alignment with their boundaries. So find out where is the disconnect. Or maybe you didn't communicate it or articulate it the right way. Maybe they don't understand the boundary or understand why it's important and think that it doesn't matter as much as it does. They don't realize how important it actually is to you and to your success and to your fucking sanity. So did, did they understand it? And ask them, have this have that secondary, that follow-up tough conversation. Do they understand why you needed to set these boundaries, how it fits into the bigger picture, to your higher call and to your purpose, to your mission, how it's aligned with that? And did they understand what the boundary was in the first place? And explain where there might be the, the misunderstanding that they're still, they're still disrespecting or not, living in accordance to these boundaries. Like, where is the disconnect? And you take shit from there, depending on how that conversation goes. But you need to have those kind of preset responses, those auto auto responders that you're going to have in your brain, just like an email autoresponder, that how are you going to react when different types of boundaries get broken so that you're not being a reactive asshole? So you're responding with respect and explanation about why and the purpose of what this is. And then, retrain these people of how they need to operate within your limits of what the the way you need to live within these boundaries, how they need to respect this stuff or else you'll have to go from there and figure it out. So you need to think about that stuff, set those standards, those expectations, those boundaries, live those standards, those expectations, those boundaries, and enforce those standards, expectations, those boundaries. And when it really comes down to really what boundaries are, is respect. Self-respect. You lack boundaries. You really just lack self-respect. You you lack respect for the game. You lack, lack respect for your higher calling, your purpose as a man on this planet, what you were called upon to do on this freaking planet. You don't respect that. You don't respect that higher calling. You don't respect the purpose. You don't respect the people around you that need you to show up as this best, highest version level man of yourself. You don't respect that shit. Almost you don't even respect your yourself when you don't set these boundaries and enforce these boundaries. And it's time to start respecting your motherfucking self. Starting today, I demand it of you and I challenge you to start respecting yourself, to be a control freak. There's nothing wrong with being a control freak, especially when it comes to boundaries. Who who wouldn't want to control your own life, your own agenda, your own schedule, your own sanity, your own time, and your own energy, which means 
You are controlling your outcomes. You're controlling your goals and dreams and higher calling and higher purpose. You're controlling your freaking life. Who wouldn't want to be a control freak when it comes to that? Damn right, I want to be a control freak when you look at it that way. So I'm challenging you to set these boundaries, live these boundaries, and enforce these freaking boundaries and start having some respect for the game Start having respect for your mission as a man, your meaning as a man, your self-mastery as a man, and respect for your motherfucking self as a man starting right now. I demand it of you starting today from this moment. Can I get your commitment on that? And if I can, I want you to comment down below and let me know you are committed to setting those boundaries. You can start living according to your meaning and your mission as a fucking man on this planet. Put it down there in the comments down below. And if you need help setting up any of these boundaries, how to enforce these boundaries and want to go a deeper dive into this, this is the exact kind of stuff we work on in the Freak Father Alliance, the men's mentorship group coaching program, which is all about the mindset, muscles, money, meaning, mastery, and your mission as a man in this world, in today's world. And we dig into boundaries on a regular basis, rewatch this, set your boundaries, live your boundaries, and enforce your boundaries I will see you next time on the Steve Eckert Show. Set your boundaries. I demand it of you. Start with the self-respect. Let's make this shit happen. We have some work to do, men. Let's get to fucking work right now. Be the freaking one. Be the man that everyone looks to, that respects. And it starts this self-respect, starts these boundaries. I'll see you next time on the Steve Eckert Show. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.